Kahala, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Ruch HaKadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings unto the hopefully elect. And uh, man, I'm pretty much just going to go into uh, a lesson dealing with the fact that two thirds of our people constantly ask, why is the most high, if we all do have a God, why is he uh, putting this, allowing all these terrible things to happen, man? And they don't understand this judgment, man. And one of the main reasons the Most High is punishing us for idolatry, man. Worshiping other gods, man. After all that the Most High have done, all the mercy he's shown, Israel has showed the utmost disrespect to the Most High by worshiping idols that they fashion with their very own hands, man. And the Most High take great offense to that, man. He said he is a jealous power, man. So Israel has continuously been uh, committing spiritual adultery on the Lord. So, therefore, he's got constant judgment that's just coming out on you, man. And we're getting to the point it's going to end up at your death, man. Because you didn't trust in the only thing that can protect you in these times and the times to come, man. And this has been a part of Israel, man. Since creation, just rebelling, man. All right? Following after ways of the same spirit that was going back to Cain, man. All right? But this is... Uh, Start uh, Psalm chapter 115 and 1. It says, Not of us, O Lord, not of us, but unto thy name give glory. So we're supposed to constantly give glory to the Most High, not us, man. When you fashion an idol and, and create an imaginary God to this idol, you taking the glory because people are not going to look at, okay, the power you saying. they looking at the craftsmanship of what you creating, man. Son, that's what they really worshiping, man. A bunch of vanity of something you just created, man. We're supposed to give the glory to the Heavenly Father, man, for all the things that He has done and will do. It says, for thy mercy and for thy true sake, man. All the mercy that the Heavenly Father has went forth in Israel is constantly, man, going off and worshiping other gods, man. But the Lord is still going to make good on His promise, man. That's how merciful He is that all of Israel is going to be saved eventually, man. Once the kingdom of heaven is established, man, and that's mercy, man. And you still get to live a royal life forever. But you choose to go worship uh, 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 another God, man. All right, this is a uh, wherefore should the heathen say there is now that uh, the, where is now the God, but our power is in the heavens. He had done whatsoever he had pleased. And that's the power that we put under, man. The power, he's done whatever he wanted to do, man, and continue to do so. The Most High is in control of everything, but you don't recognize that power, man, because you're carnal. But that's all part of the way the Most High wanted it, man. This is the movie. He he, he made wicked and he made righteous on the, uh, with these other heathens, which are bred to be wicked and, and go under these false uh, uh, idols and gods. But we're not supposed to be in that, man. But the Most High said it so you can earn your destruction, man. And that's just the way he designed it. But Israel always got a one axe, man. That's the first thing out of the nigga mouth. Especially these black conscious guys. Why would, if I had a God uh, uh, that loved me, why would he kill uh, kill kids and all this? It's judgment, man. At the end of the day, the most I said it, and that will be done, man. But you'll go pray to a damn idol once the most high deliver you, man. Give credit to some false God. All right? It's back in Psalm 115 and 4. It said, their, their idols are silver and gold, the work of man's hands. They have mouths, but do not speak. Eyes, but have, eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but, can, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat they that made them are like unto them so it is very so is everyone that trusted in them O israel trust thou in the lord he is their help and their shield man the most high power yahweh is our help and our shield man you worshiping these gods and they can't talk they can't speak they can't hear they can't do anything man they can't uh, keep the dust from collecting off their ass on their own. 
But y'all are putting faith and trust in, in these good. Well, I'm not going to say faith, man. Because y'all seeing what you uh, believe in. Because you don't have faith. Alright. And this is it is crazy because, man, what they call the most the most high is, is, is the father of spirits, man. So he the father of spirits, that means he's in control of everything, man. He got the end all be on. He set it on Yahweh Shai's back to handle everything for him, but he spoke it into existence, man. He put uh, our spirits into these bodies and 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 and, and 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 control every make um, uh thing that we do, man. Control every outcome on the face of the earth, but you feel, refuse to worship them, man. That's why you're gonna be put to death. All right. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter fifteen and verse eleven. It says, uh, "Where uh, as much as he knew not his Maker, and him that inspired into him an active soul and breathed in." A living spirit, man. The Most High gave us breath, man. He gave us the ability to do everything that we do, man. There's all forms of life on the earth, man. All the elements have life in them. But we can, we have a a a a way to operate and think, man. To be able to speak and conduct ourselves on a whole nother vibration and capability, man. That's all but done by the Most High, man. And He could take our spirit from us whenever He choose, man. All right, this is verse twelve. It says, "But they counted, uh, but but they counted our life a pastime, and our time here a market for gain. For they say we must be getting every way through it through it me uh, it be by evil means, man. And that's what Israel is known for doing, man, by evil means using these idols for their own gain, man." Whether it was materialistic or to be to be set up as a high person among in the sight of Israel, man. But mainly sitting here and fashioning these idols, man, knowing that uh, you can deceive your people, man, and profit off of it, man. All right, it says this is a, uh, and you know, that's a known amongst Jake. Jake always uh, tell you they'll do anything uh, by any things necessary, man. By anything necessary, it's a lock in. And that's the mentality that Jake has, man. I'm going to do whatever wicked act I have to attain what I want, man. All right, this is verse 13, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 15 and 13. It says, uh, For this man that of earthly matter make it brittle vessels and engraving images, knoweth himself to offend all. Above all others, man. So you offended the Most High, man, because you breaking one of His main laws, man. You're not supposed to make no graven images, man. For what purpose you can uh, uh well worship them, man? And Jake is all about idols, man. They can't stop tattooing Caesar Bogier. Every goddamn rapper you see got to uh, get a damn Jesus piece with uh with uh uh, uh Sir Rappers Christus on it. A uh, damn cross, man. And that uh, validate they validate them amongst you niggas because they have these fucking idols, man. Jake is fucking wicked, man. They always want to say nobody deserved this or this person died before their time. No, the most I put judgment on them, man. No matter how young, no matter your sex, because of this, man. Bound down to these idols, man. But let me read on. This is a. Uh, Verse 14, it says, And all the enemies of thy people that hold them in subjection are most foolish and are more miserable than very babes. For the, they counted all the idols of the heathens to be gods, man. So you took all the idols, man. Every time Jake was under captivity or dealing with and mingling with these other nations, they, what was they doing? They was getting into their gods, man. Getting into their worship, man. And believing in that bullshit, man. That's the most offense you could do to the Most High, man. It says, uh, which neither have the use of eyes to see, nor noses to draw breath, nor ears uh, to hear, nor fingers to handle, uh, so like, nor fingers of hands to handle. And as for their feet, they are slow to go, man. For man made them, and he that bought his own spirit fashioned them, man. 
So you look at how offensive that is to the most high. He's looking at you like, man, I breathe life in your little ass. And you're going to worship something that you just fashioned with your own hands, man? You borrowing your spirit from me. I'm giving you life. And you're going to create something with the, the power I gave you, the ability I gave you, and worship it, man. It says, but no man can make a God like unto himself. You can't create life, man. You can make these idols to worship. You can get all that into that, man. But you can't create life, man. That's the only, only th uh, the most I can do that, man. And Israel been known for that, man. The most high man got one of the uh, most greatest accounts in, uh, in in history of the earth, man. Well, he and, and every nation speaks about the Israelites being free from captivity out of Egypt, man. And the moment Israel get out, what do they do, man? Being niggas and say, we need something to worship, man. Let's pray to this God. Let's give thanks to this God. And so, we get us Exodus chapter 32 and 1 just to get the account. It's Exodus 32 and 1. It says, when and, and when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Evan unto Aaron and said unto him up make us gods which shall go before us as for this slot uh, for as for as for this Moses man and that show you right there who the children of Israel are man you Negroes Latinos and Native Americans have no damn patience man you want everything right there man as soon as you do something you want to get thanks for it right away Soon as anything happens, you gotta get something going in the physical right away, man. You don't have no patience and long suffering for the Lord, man. You couldn't even sit your ass still and trust that Moses is gonna come back. Shit, fuck if he take a long time, so what? He said, This is what we supposed to do, man. We just got delivered from um, uh, uh, the greatest army on the face of the earth at that time, man. In the Eastern world, man. In the known world. And it wasn't just like uh running through a creek, man. Just running through a little river like you see in an old western or something. Or somebody getting chased through the woods. No, man. This was a, a, a heavy mass uh, 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 distance, man. A great body of water, man. And y'all act like this was a small account, man. And the moment that you get it over and, and get this miraculous, man, you witness the chariot guiding you through, uh, 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 through the separation of the waters, man. And the minute you, you do, you get impatient. And now we need to see the God that created that did this to us, man. Prove, should give us something. We need something to worship. All right. Well, let me finish out. It says, the man that the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. They all well, way down there running their mouth, man. Coming up and running the air and saying we don't we don't know what's going on up there. We ready right now. We need some something to uh, satisfy our flesh man all right this is verse two it says and aaron said unto them they burst that man you know jake you got to really picture this man jake is not no uh, uh quiet subtle ass people that's just gonna come up now nah, jake gonna come get rowdy and get in your ass man you think it, uh, jake wasn't out there getting rough and telling Aaron, man now nah, we don't know what the hell going on up there with moses man we down here yeah, we know what just happened, so we need to worship something right now. We need something to pray to. It's uh, verse 2, and Aaron said unto them, break off. the." They pressured the hell out of Aaron to the point he broke, man. Got weak. All right, verse 2, it says, and Aaron said unto them, break off the golden earrings, which are in the ears of your wives and of your sons and of your daughters. So like it, of your sons and of your daughters and bring them unto me and all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them unto Aaron and he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graven a, a graven tool after after had he uh so like after he had made it a golden calf man so instead of them being patient and waiting and doing what they were supposed to do and wait for uh, uh for what Moses said he was going to do, man, and, 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 and go up there to the Most High, man. 
before the Most High, Salakia. No, they have to jump the gun, man, and force Aaron to do a wicked act, man. All right, it says, after he had made it a, gold, a molten calf, and they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, brought thee up out of the land of Egypt, man. So you just went through this miraculous deliverance, man. Had the chariot before your eyes. A major account, man, that's still spoken of to this day. Everybody on, uh, damn near on the face of the earth, uh, outside of the 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 deep, uh, uh, deep, deep Congo and and uh, the Brazilian woods, uh, 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 the in South America region, man. But everybody that has some form of uh, 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 society that been developed, man, have heard about the Hebrews and slav uh, being in slavery in Egypt, man. And being delivered, man. Speaking about Moses sp uh, splitting the, the Red Sea with his staff, man. Speaking about working hard as a, 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 as a Hebrew slave, man. And then in the moment y'all get uh, get on the other side, y'all uh, worship another God, man. That's why the Most High bring, is bringing a great judgment upon Jake, man. So that's the answer to your question of why would uh, the Most High kill? Why would he do this? Why would he allow us to be in this position? Because we uh, we fail to worship him and be faithful, man. So we're going to uh, uh, pay, man. Lord willing, that's why we're doing. We are to receive forgiveness for these things we've done. But two-thirds of our people got to fucking go, man. So you got an issue. Wait till the Most High take you out. Then you'll, you'll understand. If you don't want to trust in the men of the Lord that the Most High set up, man, throughout history, Jacob's is constantly rebelled, man, the rebellious nation against the men that the Most High sent. They want to get into all these other worships, man, all these different uh, uh, factions of, uh, of understanding, different doctrines, anything so they can worship a different God, man. But that's just the, uh, the way the Most High planned it out, and he planned it out as a... Uh, as a, a, a means to a cause which is going to lead to your destruction man hey, I hope this lesson was edifying man once again I want to give all praise honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rukhakwadash double honors to the apostles and elders a great millstone peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect Shalom